New on Wake Up as communities around the nation face uneasy tensions with law enforcement, a local organization hopes to bridge the gap right here in mid-Michigan. The goal to build positive relationships between police and the community through basketball. Our own Ashland Hill joins us live now in Saginaw with a look ahead of two events designed to do just that on and off the court. Good morning, Ashland. Good morning, Rachel and Sarah. I'm live at the Y in Saginaw. It is an eventful morning here. As you can see, everybody's shooting some hoops already. I am joined by founder of Bridge the Gap, Aite Soa, and Bay City Public Safety Officer Brandon Murphy. Good morning, you two. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. We're all alive and awake, and we're shooting some hoops. Can you tell me about what's going on? Yeah, right now we just have a lot of the uh, kids, pastors, um, sponsors for Bridge the Gap. As you can see, Dr. Byron Hayes, and we have our Catholic priests uh, over here shooting some hoops, and they're playing now and having a good time. And we just have a gathering this morning of a lot of the players and participants of Bridge the Gap. Can you kind of tell us a little bit more about Bridge the Gap and its goal? Yeah, sure. Uh, Bridge the Gap is designed to build positive relations between law enforcement and the community. Um, we have many teams, and, and the teams are made up of police officers, uh, youth from the community, from the Great Lakes area, pastors, priests, as well as police officers, um, and just, just to come out and have a good time. Absolutely, and I was going to say, Officer Murphy, could you give us a preview of Feed the City? Because this is a precursor to a big event that you guys are putting on for Bridge the Gap. Sure. Next Next Sunday, August the 14th, is our Feed the City. That's going to be held at G's Pizza uh, on Bay Road. And from 12 to 3.30, anyone that lives in the Great Lakes Bay region can come to G's Pizza and get free pizza and pop. And the players are going to serve to the public. All right, sounds good. We'll have a ton more information coming up on Bridge the Gap and Feed the City. We're live here all morning reporting in Saginaw, Ashland Hill, WNEM TV5.